Day 7, Genesis 18-21 Why do we need a country? Abraham figured out the heart of God wanting to postpone judgment to the end and prayed for him to change his mind. He was truly the one deserving of becoming a channel of a blessing. First point, the reason God chose Abraham and his family was in order to establish a nation. On the eighth day of being born, Isaac was circumcised to mark the covenant with God and in his plan to make a righteous nation. Isaac grew up much loved by his father Abraham. Moreover, Isaac learned about the burnt offering through his father. As such, Isaac spent his teenage years following God's plan. Especially through the burnt offering at Mount Moriah, Isaac was able to learn about God's test and love. The reason God chose Abraham was in order to raise a nation that would fulfill God's justice and righteousness. Second point, God wants to give people a chance to repent before reaching judgment. Much more so than Abraham, God wanted to save the people of Sodom and Gomorrah from perishing. God said that if he found any righteous man in Sodom and Gomorrah, he would not destroy them. Through God's first, second, and third answer, we can truly see how much God himself wanted to save the people. The reason why God wanted to postpone judgment even to a place full of evil such as Sodom and Gomorrah was because he wanted to give them a chance to repent. The Bible records three unfortunate instances in relation to Lot and his family. The first is Lot's unwise decision. When Abraham gave him the first choice of land, Lot chose Sodom and Gomorrah, which appeared to him like God's garden and the land of Egypt. Second was the foolish decision of Lot's wife. When Sodom and Gomorrah started to fall, Lot's wife could not resist looking back, which resulted in her turning into salt. Third was the foolish decisions of Lot's daughters. Lot's daughters followed the perverted ways of Sodom and Gomorrah and conceived through an act of incest. This led to the first daughter's son becoming the ancestor of the Moabites, and the second daughter's son becoming the ancestor of the Ammonites. Third point, God steps in backwards and covers up for Abraham's mistakes. Abraham repeated the same mistake twice. When Abraham was living in Canaan, he went once to Egypt and once to Philistia to avoid famine. Both times, the biggest concern for Abraham was his wife Sarah's beauty. So Abraham's plan was to lie that his wife was his sister. But the lie that Sarah was his sister created even bigger problems. Abraham replied, I said to myself, there is surely no fear of God in this place, and they will kill me because of my wife. When the problems grew too big, God had to intervene by stepping in backwards and covering up for Abraham's mistakes. Fourth point, God and Abraham's family's joy, Isaac. After a long wait for Abraham and Sarah, Isaac was given to them. When Sarah had first heard that a son would be born to her by an angel, she laughed. But a year later, she was able to hold her son in her arms and laugh from true joy. This is why the name Isaac means laughter. God specially named Isaac and Jesus prior to being born. And he firstly decided the timing of their birth, and secondly, let them be born in an unnatural way. It was because God had unique plans for Isaac and Jesus. This was in preparation for the burnt offering on Mount Moriah and Mount Calvary, two very important events that were scheduled 
2,000 years apart. Fifth point, God shows a fountain of water to Hagar in the desert. For Ishmael and for the crying Hagar, God showed the fountain in the middle of the desert. God further gave the promise to make a great nation through Ishmael. Through the genealogy of Ishmael, in Genesis chapter 25, we can see that God fulfilled his promise to Ishmael most sincerely. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tongdok app. The Tongdok app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.